What's up guys? Today I'm going to be working on my filter for the tank behind me. Um, I've been having a few issues with um, flow, basically. Um, I want to crank up the CO2, but the flow has to be restricted coming back into the tank or else it'll overflow. It's just not coming out of the tank fast enough. So after what I did previously, I think I did a video on it, I raised it up and I did a few minor modifications. But basically what I'm gonna be doing is showing you the modifications that I've made since the last video I posted. And there's only a few small things. And I'm gonna be shortening the height of the bucket. I'm gonna be cutting these little guys, the uh, thing, the bucket's resting on. And um, that should increase the flow going out of the tank and allow me to crank up the flow going back into the tank to make the reactor spin faster, which is the problem. It's not um, really, it's just not as fast as it should, so it's not, what's it called? Diffusing the CO2 as fast as it can, so it's just not good. There's a, a lot of algae in here I'll show you, and the algae eaters I have aren't really doing as good as I thought they would. So yeah, that's what we're doing today. I'm gonna show you what I did, and I'm gonna show you what I'm going to do, and then I'm gonna do it, and then I'm gonna show you what I did. The lighting right there was really weird, and I found the culprit. I don't know what is going on, but something is super trippy about this light that I have. Anyways, so, actually I'm gonna turn that off real quick. All right, that's better. So as you can see, if I go across the carpet, you can see that there's algae, different types, and all sorts of stuff in here. There's a little amino shrimp. Um, but yeah, so I've decreased CO2 output to, it might actually not be on right now, or is it just really slow? It's, it's like one bubble every, it's like a half a bubble a second. It's pretty weak. Uh, I had it going up to like three or four or five or something, just a lot of CO2. And that got dirty, I guess, and it's not just flowing as well. And since the flow is coming out of this really slow, um, I have to keep this low, and that's not pushing on the wheel that helps to diffuse. Like, if you can see that, there's two wheels in there, and it's not even doing anything right now. Like, if I move it around a little bit, it'll start to spin, but I need to crank this up. I'll show you, I'll just crank this up real quick, and it'll start spinning and working, basically. So that's the issue that I have. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to cut like a layer of this out so it's just resting whatever this is, probably like I don't know, two and a half, three inches lower. That'll increase the flow coming out of the tank and it'll allow me to crank up the flow coming back into the tank and it'll just allow me to balance everything a lot better. I'm gonna clean the reactor while it's out um, I'm gonna mess with the filter and show you what's inside, what kind of media I'm using. Uh, this is also new, that is changed, and the return has changed, so, or the inflow to the, whatever. Uh, so I'm gonna give you basically an overview of what I did, and show you all the stuff that's going on in the filter while I do all the, the minor modification to this. Alright, so I got this one cut, and it effectively shaved, I'd say probably like four inches off, so that's gonna be like Perfect. I'm actually really excited about this. <laughs> it's actually gonna work. But yeah, inside, um, let me grab. This is what's on the bottom, right in there. This one will go in there and rest like right about there and before it gets stuck. Usually I'll put like legs right here to prop it up. But um, yeah, I don't really need a whole lot right here, right now. I might add maybe some sponges or something. All that's in there right now is a bunch of lava rock, which is super porous, really good for biological filtration. And then uh, cycled media, pre-cycled media. Oh, the lights just shut off in the tank. Uh, pre-cycled media, this is Eheim media from, I forgot where I bought this, and then this is some more Eheim media that I just got with uh, my Eheim filter. Turn those back on. But yeah, so there's not much to it. Um, with a small tank like this, this is a giant filter, so I don't need much. I might be adding something later on, like like I said, this layer with like some just cheap sponges or something. 
but uh, I'm not really sure. I'm trying to keep flow up. So the more media you use, uh, the less flow you get, obviously. It just slows down your filter, but we'll see. As of now, this is working pretty well. I like it, um, so I don't really have a need to change it. But yeah, other than that, the things that have changed in the filter, this used to be really awkward. It used to be like a long, squirrely thing that went into the uh, CO2 reactor, but now it's just a solid pi pipe, and there's a, a hose about that long that goes straight into the reactor. And then the other thing that changed is, where is the lid? lid change this is all stuff that's clean or that's been cleaned over here um, it used to be straight up and then it was going like down and all curvy but since it goes around the other side of the tank I just made it straight off the side and the gamma seal or the uniseal twists inside the plastic so as I unscrew this this will stay straight um, I'll show you I guess when I put it back together but yeah just a few minor modifications to make everything flow a little bit better and now I'm gonna put everything back together. All right, so the filter is back in place. The media is remaining wet. Uh, reactor is back together and in place. It sets about, like I said, four inches lower. The inlet is gonna be like right around here or so, which is a much better line to be, you know, naturally siphoning down into the tank. Um, I'm liking it better already. I think the setup is gonna be much more efficient. But yeah, so I'm going to drain some of the tank water f to fill up the filter. And then once I get everything balanced and flowing the way I want it to, so it's not overflowing or draining the tank, I'm going to add water back to the tank. Or actually, no, I'm going to do a water change. So I'm going to take water out of the tank and then add it back to the tank to make it all equal. But yeah, it's coming along. And the top is going on because it's filled with water. And this is what I meant by the thing spins and stays in the same place. The uniseal is spinning while this thing spins, so the uniseal is not moving whilst the top gets screwed on. And I have that marked off, so it's really close. All right, and everything is plugged in and running. I just fill some water. That's all good though, but um, this was the most successful modification I think I've ever done with this filter. Because, um, Everything's on, both the return and the inlet are all the way open, they're wide open, and the water level is not rising or falling at all. So it's like a perfect balance in flow. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I'm gonna clean this tank up, uh, remove a little bit of algae, do a little water change, a little amino shrimp. Yes, that's how you pronounce it if you're in gym. If it's in Japanese, but um, yeah, uh, I'm gonna do a small water change, add back all the water, and um, add some plants. I've got some really cool stuff coming for this tank, but yeah, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys have a nice day, and hope your tanks are all doing well and stuff. But yeah, if you like what I'm doing, don't forget to like and subscribe, and leave a comment in the sections or the comments section. <sighs> I'm tired. Have a nice day.